Well, all your stuff was here. We'd know you weren't leaving. So phony. Let's give you so much. Hmm. They're just making sure that you're really sanitized. Could I just a couple quick follow-up questions? <laughs> we need some clarification on. Okay. Um, any fire pits at the house? Uh, yeah, in the backyard. Okay. Did y'all use it at all? We've used it before. Not recently. Okay. Like, they use it to, like, burn brushes, though, that they, like, cut off near the, like, um... You know how they're on the water? Mm hmm There's, like, some bushes or, like, weeds that come there. They usually, like, rip them out, burn them. Okay. Or, like, they burn the, like, sticks that fall down. Okay. Um. Yeah. They do them together. Not, like, all the time. Not, like, a little less than often, I guess. It's, you know. Okay. But, like burn brushes or like they enjoy a good my mom's calling again feel free to call it or answer hello still they're still asking questions mom uh sure. i can talk to her here's liz hello Okay. I'll leave and go outside real quick. Hmm. Have any updates? No. Just trying to figure it out. So you said he had a, that he tried to make a dump run on Saturday. Do you know what he was going to throw away? The There's like um, a tarp of like, you know, a layer of dirt and like grass on it. Because his parents just planted a tree before they left in the front yard. Where's the tarp at? <laughs> Driveway. Okay. So it was still, it was there yesterday, I know. There today. Yeah, so he, did he actually go to the dump? No, it, it was closed. Oh, he knew it was closed, so he never actually made it. I don't know if he went there or, like, Googled it that it was closed, but okay. it's been in the same spot, so just assume he Googled it. <sighs> Did Liz not call my mom yet? I gave her the number last night, so just not to talk to her already. Oh, wow. That's a good question. I gave her my mom and her fiancé's number. Okay. So she's got both. Crescent Lasai is my mom's fiancé. Okay. 
We'll call it Crest for short. Okay. And you go by Cat, but it's actually... Catherine. Catherine. No wonder. C-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Um... <clears throat> Has he been, so he's been in your car, but he never actually drove it? This like, weekend? Like not. Since Thursday, when Mom and Dad left until... <sighs> not that I recall him driving it. No, but he's been in it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually already shotgun. He does, or...? Yeah. Like, if I'm tired one night, like, he'll drive, or, like, I just don't feel like driving, but that was before the fall. That text message that you said, so Sunday he gets a text message from his mom. Mm -hmm. Did you hear it ding? How do you know he got like? How do you know he got a text message from her? He told me. He just told you. Yeah. Was it just kind of out of the blue, or did he go and look at his phone and say, "Oh, my mom sent me a text," or just come up in conversation like, "Oh, I got a text from my mom earlier." Do you remember? No. Just that he mentioned that he got a text from his mom. Is my mom okay? Yeah, she wanted to make sure that. If we were around Chandler, to let him know that she's thinking of him, too. Because this is probably just one big misunderstanding. Oh, Mitch called me. Can I call Mitch back? That's his brother. Okay. So popular. <laughs> so he was going to go to the dump. I'll tell you. There's, like, grass and dirt that's on a tarp. He was supposed to take that to the dump, so she doesn't know if he actually went. Chandler doesn't have his phone, does he? Mm -hmm. Huh? Like I said, our attention is with you, so we don't really know what's fair enough. But yeah, we're we're almost done. If so, want to know if he has an update about the cabin? Oh, because well, that's seven right. o'clock. You right? I said, yeah, he went up there. She, he should be there by now. What time do you think he told you he got the text from? It was Sunday. Do you remember the time? After, maybe. I don't think it was at my mom's house. Probably, like, farm, maybe. Were you shopping when he got it? Or no. you were with him? I remember him verbally telling me. She doesn't remember if there was a ding. Just that at some point he's like, oh, mom. I got a text from my mom. Okay. I don't think it's the volume on often anyways. What's that? It's usually a vibrated phone. I'm just gonna shoot him a text real fast. Sure. So Mitch and I sent each other memes and this was our most recent one. That was on Sunday. Lobster with a stormtrooper uh -huh. helmet holding a gun. His lobster said, gun lobster proves your meme. Hmm. I like that one. Yeah, we're good friends. <laughs> so, gets a text on Sunday. Yeah. The mom. I thought it was Saturday. Yeah, you thought it was thought. Saturday. Yeah. But he said it was Sunday. Okay. So, so you guys had a conversation, I'm, I'm guessing afterwards, at some point that he got a text? You thought it was Saturday, but he's telling you it was Sunday. Yeah. I also get, like, little details mixed up quite often. Like, because it was, like, just a random moment. It's not like I was doing something I remember, like, oh, if we're in Target, I went to Target Friday, he mentioned right. it. Like, it was, like, just a random, oh, my mom texted me. So, that they made it to the lake, and that it's busy. That's what he said. That they made it to the lake, it's busy. Mm -hmm. Anything about what they're going to do? I think they said go on the lake. Okay. That's usually what they do. Um, just
just to add on what George said about like this tarp for the dump. Did you see him moving like any like bins? We just calling today. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Hey, Mitch. No, they're still asking us questions. Um, we're in separate rooms, so I don't know if he's done or not. But I'm still. Uh, Sheriff's Department downtown. Yeah, it was like they just sent some cops and squad cars to pick us up and then separate cars and they got us transported down to the Sheriff's Department. You know, precious cargo. And they're still asking me stuff. I don't know if Chandler's done yet. Yeah, I don't want him pushing himself either. Um, I told them that someone needed to get to the dogs, and... Yeah, I told them that, like, because they, like, asked if they could take the dogs out and bring them to a neighbor's, and I said Rizzo can't handle that, and that if they could, to please, like, just ma try and make sure the, like door was open from the garage to the house because like the dogs you know need dinner I'm sorry I was already in the back of the squad car when you were calling me they had to take my phone so yeah Mitch hello hello oh hey sorry you just cut out for a while yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Any update about the cabin? Hello? I lost service again. Mitch? this building too I always have yeah. awful reception here. Okay. Um so did you call someone to or did Chandler call someone to come take care of the dogs? We were like I was being put in the back of a car and you know we were in cars on the opposite sides. So Mitch was on the phone with me and um, I was like he was like hey can you like make sure like I gave them the garage door code can you like see if the like door from the garage to the house is unlocked and I'm, he's like I heard like Chandler's being asked more questions I'm not sure about you I'm like I'm in the back of the car too nothing I can do but and like I was talking to this blonde lady and like she was like looking at me like can they just go to a different house I'm like no Rizzo couldn't handle that they're like can someone pick them up like Rizzo can barely drive in a car like the uncle they're sending like maybe she'll be okay because like they washed her before but it's still gonna be a struggle so who called to have someone? Mitch, the brother. Okay. Mitch called. So Mitch was on the, you were on the phone with Mitch when you were getting, or he called while you were in the back of the squad. Yeah. And then he took it from there. Yes. Okay. Um, I like tried talking to someone, but. Someone took your phone. Yeah, because the driver was, the Lisa who drove me here, she had to hold it. Okay. They said it's like protocol. Okay. That we couldn't have our phones, either of us. Okay. Yeah, we have so much equipment in there, so it might just interfere with it. Yeah, like, she just yeah. tucks it up in the visor, so. Yeah. Like, I got it. Yeah. Um, so any of the chores, or any time that you saw, went over to the house, did you see any, like, storage bins? Was anyone doing anything, moving mm -hmm. anything? They have a lot of storage bins in the basement. Like, Miss Hollerson labels them all. Very okay. organized. It's like... She has a stack of all three of the boys' Eagle Scouts and Boy Scout stuff. Okay. Like, a box of their Legos. Okay. Like, Bionicles. Like, memory stuff. Okay. Um, if you guys go in the basement, you'll see it. Okay. But you didn't see, did you see Chandler with any storage bins? No. Okay. I didn't go in the basement over the weekend, but, no. Is that an area you're not, like... I'm allowed in the basement. Okay. I just didn't know. Yeah. They have, like, a 
little fridge down there that they keep soda and, and like since their house gets so hot sometimes Chandler will like put his uh, college like apartment mattress down and like set up a table and like you know be on his computer down there because it's colder okay and the dog will hang out with him the floor cement okay. when he's at your farm this weekend was he were you guys at the pool the whole time or is he walking around the property at all mm, i mean we went on walks together but walking's hard for him sure it's not like he could run away and i wouldn't see him <laughs> but we were on each other the whole time What's the farthest you guys walked, you think? It's a big property out here? Yeah, probably the farthest we went was, like, pool, like, we have a bar, so it's, like, pool here. Mm -hmm. Raspberry patch, where we grow our raspberries. Yeah, there's a ton of them. Yes. Yeah, right over here is barn. Um, start walking back that way, you'll pass the mulberry tree, the grapes. Um, get to the house on the other side, like, a little to the corner of the house there's like a little shed where we have the chickens we it would be like in front of the chicken coop like kind of it's like a fence thing he took a picture of me holding his chicken hawkeye um to the barn he didn't go into the barn or past the barn so not really that far mm -mm. okay all he around each other okay on monday he said he walked off by himself but he was going to cry so on Monday, he walked off by himself and had a little cry. Yeah, a little cry session. Why was he upset about it if Mom had texted him on Sunday saying that... The job thing still. Oh, the job thing. Yeah. Got and when did he find out about the job? Was that Monday? Yes. Because okay. it was right after his appointment. Because okay. they, like, called him. HR did. Okay. Um, what did um, Chandler say about Mom not going to work? Oh, he said he, like, called them to see if, like, they've heard from her. And then, like, apparently the boss said no, and so he asked for his mom to have another day off because she didn't get back yet. What day was that? Do you remember? Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. So he called or the boss called? He called. Okay. Oh, I didn't know if the water was bad. No, I was just... I'm bad at doing multiple things at once. Sorry, Mitch texted. You're fine. My mom texted me. Right, no. Embarrassing baby photos. No, you're good. <laughs> She's that type of mom. Your mom seems very nice. She used to sell my dance costumes. Oh, really? Very sweet lady. Dulce mm -hmm. means sweets or candy in Spanish. Are you bilingual? <laughs> no. Oh. My, like, my dad wanted me as American as possible. Okay. You know, when my mom was here lot of Mexicans faced a lot of problems and they still do so sadly it was in the best interest of my life that I didn't learn Spanish okay sorry to go deep like that <laughs> you're good I, I I honestly ask too many questions sometimes I think that's your job though <laughs> some would say okay um, so were you on the phone with Chandler and heard him yelling about being treated like a prisoner at his house? I think so, yeah. Okay, tell me more about that. When he wasn't allowed to leave? And that leave. was after the fall, right? When he was recovery slash payback two weeks for the money that he mm -hmm. owes them? Yeah, that sounds familiar. What day was that? That he's still talking about being a prisoner? I don't know. No, like recently? Just, just sounds familiar. Is no. that something that he normally complained about? Yeah, like, he's only allowed to leave when his parents let him leave. Like, their house, their rules. Like, if they didn't, if they wanted him home, they'd be like, no, you can't go. You know? But, kind of more dramatic type thing. Okay. 
I, I know when, like, this is a, it's a fragile situation we're in because they're missing. You know, we want to talk good things. Mm -hmm. But was there, was there some tension between his, Chandler and his parents? The money I mean, thing. I mean, if he feels like he's a prisoner, he's upset, were they overly strict, do you think? Mm, it's like, like I said, whenever we're together, his parents would text him. Like, I think it's more of just, like, involved parent type thing. Like, they want to know what he's doing, where he's at, what's our plan, is usually what they text. Like, what's your plan? Um, like, if they want him home, like, they won't let him leave. Like, you know? Okay. Are they, like, they're having dinner? Are they overly strict? I mean, is there a conversation going on at the dinner table? Talk about her days. His mom's like, this is, I can recreate. His mom's like, Chandler has news. And like, Chandler will be like, I have news. You know? Mm -hmm. And she's like, your job. You know? I'm like, joking over the dinner table. You know? And is, is, is his dad a strict father? I know a lot of dads are overly strict. Like, he's strict, but, like, he still makes jokes, laughs with them, like I said, fishes with them. The prisoner thing, I think he was just being dramatic. Like, who, what kid wouldn't call their parent a prisoner if they're, like, not allowed to leave often? Or, like, they want to go do something and their parents are like, no, you know? Yeah. Like, that's just my perspective. I'm not trying to be like, oh, no, 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 Chandler, no, It's like, it just sounds like a normal kid thing to say to yeah. me. Like, I mean, his parents, like, because if it was up to us, we would hang out with each other every day. Seems clingy, but, like, we're each other's best friends. Like, I want to hang out with my best friends every day. But, like, his parents, you know, obviously want to spend family time with him, so, like, he wasn't allowed, so he'd be like, they won't let me leave, sorry, you know? And, like, those two weeks were, like, a long time. So you think that probably happened in the last two weeks that you said that prisoner comment? Maybe. My, it was a comment. Like, I'm not going to have a timestamp for that. I know. I know. Maybe it was, I don't know if it was over FaceTime or something. Okay. Sure. But you didn't think much of it. You're just like, oh, he's just complaining that he's not able to leave. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's allowed to vent to me. Right. His girlfriend, so right. I just thought he was venting. Okay. And, like, when you're frustrated, it's better to get it out there instead of bottle it in. Like, we've all said things that we don't mean when we're bad. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. Okay. I agree with you. Um, oh, so did you drop a pen? I Probably my red one, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I don't want to write right in red. So, um... Mm -hmm. Any other cell phones that you know that Chandler uses? Old one in his desk from, like, high school. He uses it? Not uses it. Like, he just has it. It's, like, in his desk. Okay. He showed me it, like, Sunday, and it's dead. Any reason why he still has it? Photos. Is it, like, a smartphone? Yeah, like an iPhone. Okay. Um, yeah, he showed me it before. Has photos of like high school, like with his friends, with his dog Sawyer who died, seen like his graduation day, his senior year. Oh, awful. Yeah. So, just a lot of memories on there, and that's why he keeps it. Okay. Do you know if um, parents have any other phones that they use? Mm -hmm. Did they accidentally leave any phones at the house? Not that I saw. Okay. Bit off Mitch and. Chandler were like when they were doing their walkthrough if they saw like hey mom actually forgot her phone or dad did or they would have brought it up they showed me something is the boy ready sorry you're fine but no that he would have mentioned something to me okay it's not holding anything back like he sent me text updates like sorry still with cops like, cops are over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did he say anything, um... Did, so was this a planned trip up to the cabin, or how did that work? News to us Thursday. Like, it sounded very last minute. Okay. Any reason? At least wanted to get away? Trip to the cabin. These bus have fun. Okay. 
Do you guys think it's Chandler or something? We're just making sure that we're... Okay, because you're asking a lot of questions about him. But I, and that's what my friends and I were talking about. We're like, okay, he's, like, the only one who lives with them. So, and, like, he's the only one I have a relationship with. Like, I'm not, you know, Caitlin. I'm not... I can't answer questions about Mitch. Right. But it's still, like... Because, like, the shock I will feel. And, like, I, I think I would just be so mentally fucked up if, like, I found out he did that. Like... It just seems not Chandler at all. Yeah. I'm not gonna cry again. Sweaty day. Who's the, what's the Chandler like that you know? Hmm? What is Chandler like? The, the person Chandler is to you, what is he like? Chandler, my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Loves Star Wars, fishing. Like, I'll pretend to be mad and be like, oh, hon, what I do this time? old man, pretty much. He has grays. Okay. Did I just get locked in? No. <laughs> he got locked out. Okay, I was like, my sketch lives. <laughs> no, um, you're definitely not locked in. Promise. Loves fishing, gaming. Did you... So, let's talk about Mitch real quick. Mm -hmm. The brother. Mitch. So, you saw him today, mm -hmm. before you went up to the cabin. Mm -hmm. Um, when was the last time you guys saw him? Father's Day, lunch and brunch, oh. dinner thing. So it's been a while. Mm -hmm. So Father's, Father's Day. Is that the 23rd or 26th or something like that? 26th, I believe. That's when he had that diabetes attack and like, you Third, could Sunday in June. tell he didn't, because they were at the table, M Mr. Holderson was in like a little chair they have there and Chandler and I were like, 20th? no, I was here and then Chandler was at like another couch over there and like, I was like, let's go in the basement. Like, I'm sure he doesn't want us staring at him, you know? He's having a hard time with, like, the whole diabetes thing. And, like, when he was counting his calories, like, all of us stayed downstairs except his fiance and his mom. Like, when he gave himself insulin, only his mom and, like, his fiance was there. We all went upstairs, you know, to give him privacy. And, yeah. But, um. June 20th was Father's Day. Did he have any conversation? He didn't have it on Father's Day, though. Oh, he didn't? No. Mm -hmm. It was on a different day. The, the 20, 26th, I believe. Sorry. Well, I think it was yeah, the last time. 26th. Okay. Last time I talked to her. Was Chandler and Mitchell talking a lot this weekend on the phone? Were they texting or chatting? Uh, I was there when they called on Sunday, but I also showed you the text message Mitch and I had, so. Yeah. I talked about what we would do for, like, my birthday, and I jokingly said, let's go to a strip club. Okay. So why did um, Chandler call Mitch on Sunday? See what his plan is. How is he doing? Like, his fiance was gone because I think she was with her family for okay. the fourth, but so he stayed home with Chloe, his dog. Okay. What does he drive? <coughs> Mitch driving. Mitch doesn't drive? No. Caitlin drives him everywhere. Oh. Um, I think he has a Subaru in their garage. He just doesn't like driving. Does he have a license? Hmm? Does he have, they have one vehicle? They have two. two. He has a car, he has a license, he just doesn't like driving. Okay. So, like, when they go places, Caitlin's driving, you know? Okay. It's What's just their vehicle? dynamic. So, Subaru? Subaru car, I think. Okay. And then, what's the other car? Her car's a Forester, I believe. Oh, so they have two Subarus. Yeah. Subaru family. Subaru family. So when he came over to the house today, what was the conversation like between Mitch and, and Chandler? Uh, just, hey, how are you? Like, showing him the keys that he found, like, taking him upstairs, like, hey, please look around and see if I missed anything. So Chandler's telling Mitchell to look around the house, see if I missed anything? Yeah, like, do you know, like, do you know what these keys go to? Like, do you think they're the spares for the cabin? Like, Mitch took them with him to see, um, like... They, he said Mitch was being short with him today, you know, but they're under stress, so it makes sense. And, like, um, they're like, um, did they leave you already notes? And, like, he showed them the note. They're like, do they usually leave this? Like, is this a normal thing? And he's like, no. And Mitch was like, because you had your appointment Monday, right? Because, like, yeah. And the, he was like, yeah, that's exactly why. Um, and, like, they went, like, I think to the garage to look at the cars too to see if like they notice anything or in like the basement but 
like I told Liz, I just sat on the couch, gave them their time. Brother time? Mm -hmm. Brother plus Caitlin time, because Caitlin will dot on Mitch. <laughs> Was there any yelling between the two of them? No. No. Did Chandler have any friends come visit him this weekend? No. <clears throat> No. Not that I was aware of, no. Well, um, Rose, she has a boyfriend? No. Rose? No. James? Her brother? There. I'm sorry, that's I meant. James, your brother. Um, do they hang out? Mitch and James? Uh, Chandler, Chandler and Chandler and James? James, yeah, are they friends? When they're, when Chandler's over, they'll talk, but they're not like, they don't hang out. out, no. Okay. Who do you say is Chandler's closest friend? Smith. Smith. And Smith's back. In Kansas. In Kansas. He was there for like a day. Stopped and had, what was it, breakfast or dinner or something? Breakfast, something? hung out all day. Like, we went swimming in the Wisconsin River. Showed him around, took him to Culver's. Never had it before. Is Smith from here? Kansas, still. No, I know, but I'm saying, is he from up here? No. Where do they meet at? Video games. Oh, okay. Video gotcha. game friends. So Smith came up to visit. Mm hmm. Because I met video gaming, hung out a day, and then... Pretty much. Okay. Alright. Sorry. That's okay. My friends are like, where are you? <laughs> sure. Uh, well done. So you don't think there's any way that um, Chandler's involved in the disappearance? No. I told Liz that, like, if it's Chandler, I'm going to be severely mentally fucked up after this. Okay. Like, I just... I just can't see it being him. Like... If, if it was, would you would you help him? <laughs> Fuck no, I'm sorry. Excuse my French, like, that's fucking crazy, like, I could, no, like, I'm sorry, like, I, I can't stand blood, like, blood scares me, <laughs> like, dead bodies, like, I was good at dissections, but, like, that's animals, but, like, killing people, especially, like, Mr. and Mrs. Halderson, I'm sorry, that's, like, different levels of fucked up. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry that I'm freaking out now, but, like, no. Like, mm-mm. Like, no. So you had nothing to do with their disappearance? No. You don't think Chandler did? No. Do you think anybody Mitchell, do you think he would have anything to do with it? No, I just can't see people wanting to hurt them. Like, that's the thing. Okay. That's why we're so worried. Like, we don't know who would do this to them. Like... Okay. A parts of us are like wishing like that they're just at a casino blowing all their money and they're gonna be in debt or something. <laughs> like but they got gambling before? Not that I'm aware of. This is just a wishful thought. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me just uh make one more check I think we're about done. Sorry that I prayed again. You're fine. It's just the dust. Yeah, it's crusty in here. <laughs> Alright,
doing? I'm okay. Stop trying. Some dust. We're gonna have to vacuum in here one of these days. Yeah. Do you see how much dust there is on that panel? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. So, a couple questions. One, what would the possibility be for us to take your cell phone and analyze it? We're trying to verify some things that Chandler's well, you have all the timestamps. Same. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, you have all the pictures. So, we have a guy that could download it while you're here. Like, you wouldn't have to leave it with us. He can limit what he mm. looks at. I'm not gonna lie. So I we don't. Ha we don't have. We don't care about those. Okay. We don't. All we care about is the sex messages from you, Chandler, Snapchat history, any social media stuff, and we're really just looking for probably. What did you say? The first until. The first until. Today. July first until today. Mm -hmm. Yeah locations and what she said. But yeah, if there's any like inappropriate photos, I totally don't care about those. I just care someone sees my letter. Nope. Nope, we're not gonna. We don't even want to look at it. They've been sent through text and snap. Uh, I don't want to look at it, so. I don't think I'm this guy to look at it. He's gonna just, so the way that he can do it is just do it from a certain parameter. So July 1st or 2nd until today. First. Totally go just from that. Everything else we don't go through all of your stuff. It's just a very specific time. And the only reason that we're doing it is just to make sure that we have all the timestamps, right? So you say that you and Chandler are together at this time, and you have the proof to back it up. That's really what we need it for. Can I get a pinky, pr you can't break pinky promises, but it's only going to be from July 1st. So Yes. You, yeah. Okay. That's what you want. I would like a pinky on that. I can pinky you. Awesome. Do you have an email? Yes. What's your email? Oh, your birthday? No. What's your birthday? Is your 8030. Okay. okay. I was like, that just looks so familiar. So, yeah. There you go. At Gmail, you said? Mm hmm. That's not part of this. Do you want to see a picture of us with mustaches? That's hot. Very Thank good. you. I had an allergic I'm reaction to the glue. Is there a code <laughs> that he has to use to get in? Uh, it's face unlock. Can we unlock it without the face so we can do it? Let me see if I can remember the password. He was actually about to leave and we were making him stay in case we said yes. We can get it done to you and back to you. 3578. 3578. Okay. Just slide up. That's it locks. It won't need. It's 3578. 3578. Beautiful. Let me go see if he's here. I'll be right back. Okay. Only from July 1st. Thank you. Yes. July first. Yeah. Don't care about any buttholes, promise. I care about my butthole. I don't want to see it, so I promise we're not gonna be trying to grab it. Yeah, well, it was sent to pretty much Chandler, so. <laughs> well, that's fun. Yeah. Can't send it to anyone else. Also, is this like a two-way mirror type thing going on? So it used to be, um... Was this an interrogation room? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that was in maybe an office, or they tried to make it an office, and we're like, that room is like a closet. So mm. it's like, I don't even know why they did a window. So we just want to make it look pretty with these awesome blush curtains. It matches the decor. The yeah. Pepto-Bismol flavors. The dusty decor that we have. Yeah. Do you have the time? Do I what? Do you have the time? Yes. 8-11. I'm tired, too. And I promise you that. Just better to cooperate so we can get them found. Yeah, that's all we want. Yeah. We just need to figure out what's going on. We just are missing something. Yeah, I've, I talked to my friends about it. Like, I have nothing to hide, so I was like talking to them. I was like, oh, it just makes zero sense. Everything. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just too many different things thrown in there, and it's like you just can't find how they all connect, you know? And I'm like, my phone helps, my phone helps, you know? Right. It does help, because you take pictures of everything. Mm -hmm. So, it totally helps.
I know your mom is worried because you haven't eaten much, she said. Yeah, we had pork chops. I had half a pork chop and Brussels, some Brussels sprouts and like a slice of cardboard pizza pretty much. I'll be okay. I drank plenty of water to keep me going and I'm sure Chandler's trying to do the same. He took a couple bites of his Brussels sprouts and like, I think he said he had a slice of pizza but he just can't eat, you know? When you're just too worried, you just can't. So, I made him an oat milk coffee. Yeah. That was fast. Oh, oh we're not bad. done. He's he has to work his in. magic. So we might as well just like... Joe. Keep talking with you. Well, made him some oat milk coffee because you know, like getting into that oat milk, we're both lactose intolerant. So, okay. And I used to work at, so I worked at Target, and so I floated over to the Starbucks in Target. Loved oat milk coffee, oat milk lattes. And if you go to like a Target, you can like buy their like cold coffees in the freezers, and they have one that's slightly sweetened now because these only have unsweet. And so I do that with oat milk and like ice, and he loves it. Just loves it so much. So I'm trying to make sure he eats comfort food because I found that helps me when I'm upset and can't eat. Mm -hmm. So. So in cases like this, disappearance cases, things we like to do to people that, especially like the house, Chandler's house, we like to get consensual what we call DNA buckle swabs from people. It's where we put a Q-tip in the mouth and scrub a cheek. That's just to see whose DNA is in there and where. Um, can we get your DNA? A quick, it takes 10 seconds. It's not down the throat or up the nose. You don't want me draw blood or anything fun. It's I'm scared of needles so it's bad. literally, it's you open your mouth. And I rub one cheek, I rub the other, and we're done. It'll be less than 10 seconds. That's your call. Just helps... Because obviously we're, your DNA is probably going to be in the house, right? You were showering there. Yeah. Sneezing. You know what I mean? You'll so see my hair on her hairbrush because right? I used her hair dryer. So it's just like, we just got to say that you are the person that we're collecting. Far enough. Right. I think I actually have one. I don't know if I want a sweaty binder one. Really? I put this in here two days ago. Sweaty. Did yeah. you leave it in a car? Uh, yeah. Just like medications, you're not supposed to do that. It's a Q-tip. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. For University Medical Microbiology, I have to swab my own feces. Oh, that's disgusting. That so that we're again? not doing anything like that. Hmm? Why did you have to do that? I had to culture my own feces. For what? It's the microbiology. I have to make, see the flora of my body. So what was the purpose of it? To, like, to, to, to use look. different augers, use like antibiotics in it to see like which were effective, what were around them. Hmm. See like my E. coli count. Like, I, I had the healthiest gut there. Huh. But yeah, we gram same bacteria too, but not my fecal bacteria. You see that there's a lot of research in that that we're not really doing. So, it's kind of interesting. People are like, oh, E. coli awful. I'm like, but you have E. coli in your body. Right. Mm -hmm. The first half is going to have more bacteria than the middle half, which is going to have the normal contents. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to give you a form. So uh, basically just says you're volunteering, voluntarily giving the Dane County Sheriff's Office consent to collect a buccal cell sample. The sample will be used for investigative purposes. It's been explained to me and I fully understand that the results of the analysis of my buccal sample may be used as evidence against me in a criminal proceeding. We don't think you're obviously guilty of anything. Thank you. I have too <laughs> bad of anxiety. <laughs> I so, will cry if someone yells at me. You want to print your first, last name, and then your birthday, and then sign here, and Liz will witness it. And be signed. Is this going to be put into like a database, or is this like one time use? No, one time use. This is going to be. This is just for us. Work. Yeah, this doesn't go into like the crime lab or anything like that. I'm not going to be found guilty because he plants evidence, right? We're not going to phone you. No planting evidence. Okay. 
I'm not smart enough to rule out. Same. Do you want middle name too? Just your initial is fine. I think I didn't go to work. It's been crazy if they saw me leave in a car. Oh, it would have been like we did last night where it'd be like an unmarked. Uh, I would just sit in a car for like five hours. I know, this is definitely way more comfortable. Yeah. I like having access to a bathroom and water. Yeah. We try to make it as comfortable as possible, like, we just need some information. I think I'll need some new couches. We'll, we'll let the sheriff know. Maybe it'll be in the next budget. Say John Van Denter's granddaughter was very unsatisfied <laughs> with the quality. Don't retire? do a Yelp review. When did he retire from the farm funeral? You know, remember when? Probably about, like, 20 years ago. This room may have been exactly the way it was when he retired. Seriously. It depends, because, like, I don't know if he was still here when he, like, helped out at the Olympics, you know? It's, like, because whenever the Olympics was class in America, I know they were there. 96. Yeah. In Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I watched the Summer Olympics. I think they did winter. They had winter coats. They showed us. Hmm. That might not have been 96. No. I don't know. I think it was 2000. Thank you. Just in case you want to frame it, take a picture. You're like, I was in a cop car and my mom's going to hit me. <laughs> she won't hit me for legal reasons. This is a joke. Also, I, I did bite into my cheek, so please be gentle with the side. No gum or anything in your mouth? Uh-uh. No hand, no cookie or anything in there? No, it's been on my wallet. Right. How oh, nasty. Don't eat it yet. I know you're dying to finish it off. Oh, totally. Nothing would make me more happy. Star Wars. I see the little baby Yoda or Rogu. Rogu. I have the matching backpack. Do you? Mm -hmm. So just open your mouth. Swab, swab, swab. Pull it out. Hold it. I'll grab the other one. No swab, swab, swab. We're done. Cool. This might open my allergy too. I thought I was going to hold it. <laughs> oh, thank sir. you. Super light painless. Yeah, I think people would be gentle. They just shoved it like down my throat. Oh, cool. geez, it's not like the Corona like test or anything like no, that. No, I'm talking about a class or a cheek sample. Oh, wow. Yeah. Actually, yeah, the person taped me once because they had one done and they said it was just like they were jamming their cheek really hard. Mm -hmm. It's like a... Ooh, evidence sticker. It's That's how you know it. We can't open it. can't be altered. Well, if I find out you guys planted evidence and you broke a pinky promise, I'm going to be very disappointed. You Liz. can be disappointed. I don't. Liz. <laughs> I do a lot of things, but lying is not one of them. Thank goodness. The Chandler give you guys this? Oh, you guys don't know. I'm putting it with you. Yeah. Do we get to ride back together at least? Well, we'll see what's going on with Chandler. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. out of here. Mitch texted, said he would meet us at the house. I don't know if you want to that information. Is he on his way home? Okay. I'm just going to wrap this up. No oh, offense, George. <laughs> I tried. Try harder. <laughs> <sighs> Are people usually as cooperative? We don't have any reason for them not to be, right? Mm -hmm. Just want them found. Yeah. I would like to go back to work without trying. 
Sometimes work is a good distraction, but other times it can just be too overwhelming. I have to count 510 tacrolinas. After I filled it yesterday, I had 540. Hmm. Yeah, there was a dose change last minute, so. And it was only 30 less pills. Same strain. Hmm. What is that med for? Um, so this patient, uh, they, so a lot of hazardous are used for, like, transplant patients or, like, um, people who have, like, cancer or chemotherapy going on, HIV, and that stuff's usually, like, non-hazardous. Um, it depends, though. In this patient, they were a transplant patient. Um, I think they were double transplant patients. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they needed a lot of it. If you could take three pills morning, four pills night. Yeah. One second, make sure you on your phone. A work phone and a play phone? Huh? Yeah. You have two phones. Oh, uh, work phone, personal phone. Mm. Play. Same thing. Yeah. My eyes burn. I'm sure. I cry so much. Like, I'm a huge baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Alright. It's better that you get it out than bottle it in and pretend everything is fine. Yeah. I see enough of those people. Hmm? I see enough of those people where it's like, just tell me what's going on. It's like, I just can't keep stuff in like that, you know? It's just too hard. I would just like explode or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, we all process things in our own way and mine's just like, please help. It's very yes. healthy. So, your mom's in medical, you're in medical, brother's police officer. You have one more brother? Mm -hmm. What does he do? He goes to Edgewood for IT and he um, works at AFS, which is a construction manufacturing company. Um, the one that the ex girlfriend's dad owns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the T. Um, and he and my brother, that's a cop, uh, do CrossFit. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. Are they gonna, like, compete? They compete, but, like, not at the CrossFit games. That's okay. so hard to get into. Oh, is it? And expensive. You have to pay. Okay. Um, yeah. My Grandpa John used to work here. Grandma Maureen, she was a nurse practitioner. Commodore for the Coast Guard. Oh, wow. Yeah. Higher rank than my grandpa. That's their big thing. There you go. Yeah. They're both volunteer EMTs. Very cool. Yeah. So you said that your mom is an immigrant? From Mexico. When did she come here? Eons ago? Like, maybe 30 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. When my oldest brother, Uga, was a baby. Okay. Yeah. Been here since? Have you been in Wisconsin the whole time? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I know I was crying about how I'm scared of needles, but my brothers and I all have a matching tattoo. Um, one of the reasons is because Jeffrey Dahmer said people who have, like, ink on their skin taste weird, so cannibals don't like them. Oh, okay. That's all i got to say. And it's like an outline of Wisconsin, because, you know, Wisconsin's home, one of those cheesy things. Mm -hmm. So we all have it on our um, left shoulders. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mom does it? No. She called me 12 times and cried. Oh, really? Yeah. In her culture, and especially in Mexico, only people who are, like, criminals get tattoos. Especially in her, like, her family. It's a big no-no. She was crying about how I'm never going to be married, and my, I'm going to die, and, like, I'm, I'm going to be arrested. <laughs> you know, this isn't helping. <laughs> but You're not arrested. Yeah. Thank you. Like you told your mom, you can leave whenever you want. Is my phone back? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Soon. It's just George. It's just George. Um, you didn't even come with a cookie or anything. Yeah. Well, you well, didn't like them. Because. Yeah. Sorry. You'll be out here soon. Thank you. Um, I, I know you said you didn't go in the basement at all this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. So, I was only at the outside of the house yesterday, oh. and it was for minutes. Mm -hmm. So. When you come up the driveway, how do you guys get into the house? Did he hit the code of the garage? Oh, he has a key. Front door. Front door? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you generally go through the front door? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Like, if he doesn't have his key, we go through the garage. But he almost always has his keys on a red lanyard, wears it around his neck. Okay. If he's, like, his parents are home, like, sometimes I'll park closer in front of the garage if his parents don't plan on leaving and, like, go through the, like, garage door there. But not as often as I go through the front door. Okay. Honestly, depends on the day. It's what I'm used to. Okay. I was thirsty. We can get you more water, too. It's okay, I'll pee myself. <laughs> Should I do a knee crack? Mm mm. Let me see if they can find out how long your phone will take. Is he doing it here? Do I already know I have? Okay. So do you listen back on the tape recorders often or no? Sometimes, yeah. Because, mm. believe it or not, I miss things all the time. Mm. So I try to write all my notes, but I forget things or I misinterpret things, and that's why it's really nice that you are, like, clarifying everything. Mm. Especially yesterday when we talked, it was raining, so it was hard to, yeah. So it's just nice that you're mm -hmm. coming on back. I also know I jump around a lot. <laughs> so, it's just... Yeah, nothing else. Mm -mm. Mm. Do they know when Chandler's going to be done? Yeah, um... I mean, I think they're done. Yeah. They, um... Sounds like he's not quite as cooperative as you. Fair. Any, Any reason why? why? It's probably worried you guys are going to be like, Chandler did it! Okay. Do you know? I think that's everyone's fear. Yeah. Like, no one wants to be accused of killing their parents. I'm also, I think, just a very understanding person. I'll you know, look for the best in everything. Okay. But, yeah. yeah. Um, well, right now, because he's not being so cooperative or forthcoming, his parents are missing. It looks like they're going to take him into custody. Are you serious? Mm hmm. I don't know what the charges are yet, but um, right now it's just going to be because of the missing person's investigation and him. Lying. Lying to the detectives. Uh, why he's lying. I mean, I, you know, we're all wondering. Um, Can I? You probably know him best. Why do, you, why do you think he's not being truthful? Doesn't want to pin on him, I guess. Can I talk to him before he goes or no? Mm -mm. I think they've already walked him down. Why? <sighs> Did you ask why? Or, sorry, I just... No, no you're good. Pin it on him, do you think... Do you think he could have had anything to do with this? And if he did, do you think there's any help in him to disappearance? Did anybody help him? Could anybody have helped him? Hmm. Okay. So we were just trying to find out where his parents are, and... I mean, the sad thing is when you have someone that lives in the house with them, and they're lying and not cooperating, what is yeah. he lying about? I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Just that he's lying. Because we, we were in with you. So yeah. we have other detectives that were talking to him. That's great. I mean, you've been super cooperative and trying to get your phone back. If it's not going to be done anytime soon, we can get you a ride somewhere, have someone pick you up. Can I get a ride back to Chandler's? That's where my car is, and I'm supposed so, to meet his brother there. That's going to be... <laughs> Something else, I'm glad you said that. So they're probably going to want to leave. They're, they're going to leave your car there. Mm, no. At the house, because he was in it all weekend. Mm, no, I'm sorry. And I have places to be. That's my car. Like, if I'm being cooperative, why do you have to take my car? Because Chandler's not, and he was in your car. So there's chance that there's DNA in there that we need to get. But don't I have to, like, consent to that, or you need, like, a court order or something? Well, because it's at his house, they're looking at, they're looking at writing a warrant at the house. So if they write a warrant at the house, your car's in the driveway, they're going to want, because he was in there, they're worried about him. It, the detectives really think that he probably had something, you know, maybe to do with, with the disappearance. So right now we have to investigate all, all avenues, and I know I want to know where they are, you want to know where they are. Um, can 
Can I at least grab my clothes from inside of there? What, yeah, what do you... Let me see what I can do. What do you have in there? <laughs> Bags of clothes. Your dirty laundry? Yeah. Oh. So it's clean, some of it's dirty. You know what's what? What's weird? I'd rather just have it all. And then my toiletries are in his house. I showered there. I prefer... I have a bag of clothes inside. So we can't... Everything in the house stays in the house. Just because it's a potential crime scene. So because we don't know what's going on, we have to very, very treat this like something happened. And like right now, it's kind of like... It's like the game Hangman, you know, when you get to try to fill in the word. You know, we'll give you a few in the beginning. It's like, you know... We're trying to fill in the blanks. And to do that, generally it's a lot easier when everybody cooperates. Like, if everybody's as cooperative as you, we fill in the blanks right away and we all move on with our day for the most part. Like, your phone, we're trying to get that done right right away. Yeah, I know. Um, Let me get you my keys. You're, oh, um, yeah. That makes it easier. It's locked, huh? I'm not happy about this. I know, I'm just sorry. Say, I have a lot of my underwear in that car. Well, I... I like having underwear. I don't know about you. It's well, important. yeah, I like wearing underwear. Oh, can I have my house, to... my house key? Well, if I just take the car key only. Okay. I need the fob to drive. Yeah. Is this your house key? Yeah, the gold one. Let me take that off for you. Thank you. <sighs> what are you thinking? not cooperating. Why do you think he's not? I don't know. Like I said, he probably just doesn't want to be like, you know, I didn't do it. I don't want to be like, I don't want him to pin it on me, you know? If I told you he was lying to them about some things that we know otherwise, would that shock you? Yeah, I don't know if he saw me. I was shocked. I thought he was cooperating too. Now we're hoping he was, but... Unfortunately. Is our stuff that I'm saying not matching? Uh, again. Uh oh. No idea. Yeah. It's like we found out about him making the comment about feeling like he's a prisoner. Uh, it wasn't our conversation. That was another interview that's being done by another detective with someone else. I don't know who, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't, obviously that's not, I mean, obviously that's not why they would take him into custody, um, but it's. I have to sit down with the detective who's doing the interview. Can I go pee again? Yeah. I just finished off that water. Um, You're good. Do you want not for one? any reason. Do you want to call anybody right now? You guys have my phone. I only know my mom's number. I mean, do you want to call mom? No. Okay. okay. Am I still going to get my phone before we go? Yeah, my stuff on call. at 8.36 p.m.
So I talked to the detective. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, man, is the phone done? And his response was, there's no way of knowing when it's going to be done until it's almost done. I will sit my little ass here. Okay. Do you want to go grab anything? There's, like, food around. Like, obviously the square is here, so. Can I grab anything? anything? Or maybe just, like, fresh air. Mm. So there's like no way I can talk to him at all. Alright, I don't know. It's downstairs. Is that where the like jail is? Yeah, the booking area. Can I get you another water or soda? No, I'm okay. Can I get you a bag of chips? Anything to eat? You wanna take a walk? You could. And if her and I step out for a second, leave you with your thoughts in here. We'll be picking you anything, a magazine. Okay. Just take a nap. I think the phone, I, I don't think it's going to take an hour or anything. But then again, I'm not an IT guy. Sure.
um, you doing? I'm okay. Uh, I forgot what I was going to ask. I stood up because I was going to ask something. I don't even remember. Oh, um, in my car I need my ID badge for work. Your ID badge? Yeah. Okay. It just says Captain Melinder Pharmacy Tech. Okay. Where's it at? Is it hanging up on the... I think it might be, like, in the cubby area. Okay. Picture of you? There's, like, a heart with, like, pills inside of it. Smiling pills. Okay. That, like, yeah. stuns. Do you have medication or anything in there that you need? I have old bupropion, but I don't take it anymore. Okay. Okay. Do you know how much longer? I'll call right now.
apple flavor. Mmm. It's like, I heard this one. Cream soda. So there's no way I could talk to him? No, I guess he'll be able to probably use the phone at some point. Right now. How long are they going to hold him? Uh, what's today? Thursday. Well, it depends on when he sees the judge. I have to see the judge to get out. Could be tomorrow, could be after that. I think I can go. I can't just see him. I'm sorry. Did they tell you anything else, or can I not know? No, I'm actually about to do something else real quick. Um, but there's not much. Not much. Has anyone told his brother? Don't know. His brother's expecting us. Okay. Let me find out.
Uh, George wrote me one. Oh. So here's water. I know you said that you're fine before, but I just want to make sure that you're hydrated. Do you have to go to the bathroom at all? There you are. Okay. Um, where are the dogs, like, leashes? Uh, they should be hanging or, like, um, when you walk by the garage and there's a door in front of it, like, kind of. But not the front door. When you go in, there's like a coat rack. There should be in the coat rack. Okay. Maybe under gloves, I think. Uh -oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's their food? Um, in the kitchen. There's uh, by the window, by the table. There's like containers. Like the like Rubbermaid bins or whatever. No, they're like taller. You'd think they'd be trash and recycling, but it's their kibble. Okay. Do they eat the same stuff? Yeah, but they have slow feeding bowls. The ones with the little, like, knacks in it or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Your mom's just making sure that you're okay. So I'm just making sure that you're okay. Do you need anything? Okay. Did you tell her he was booked or no? No. <laughs> Did anyone call Mitch? I don't know. I can find out. Um, if you could get his number, I could call him if that's okay. Mm hmm yeah, I can try to find his number, and then this phone works, as far as I know, so we can let you use this phone, too. It's on my phone. I don't have your phone, but I think I have yeah. Mitch's number. Okay. Okay.
haven't heard back yet about the phone, but I'll call them. Because it's been, how long has it been? It's quarter after nine. I don't know. Can we sign that sheet at? Um. We have it. Do I think he... Okay. 8.15. So I'll spend on maybe close to an hour. I'll give a call. Oh, you probably heard the radio. It's so oh. freaking loud. Uh, so, here's the deal. I called about your phone. It's still on step number one. He's like, she must have a lot of stuff. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. How many steps are there? He's like, well, there's this, and then we got to go through that. And then he's like, one of the last steps is text messages. Is if she's a big texter, then it's going to take longer. Is she like a video Snapchatty person? I'm like, I think so. So his response was, I wish I could tell you 10 minutes, but it could be 10 hours. 10 hours? I don't think it's going to be that long. Oh. But. I don't know if you said an hour or 10 hours. I, I said 10. Oh. We've had phones that have gone like <coughs> that, and we've had phones that have taken. Forever. Hours. It's just how active you are on your phone. Generally, like. Yeah. So my question is. That being the case, when it's done, we will get it to you right away. 
But do you want to go to your mom's house? I think they're at the farm. I want to call Mitch first to see what he wants to do. Did you, were you able to get his number? Um, so we have a Detective Bennett who's been in contact with Rich, so they're kind of coordinating everything, and Mitch is going to take care of the dogs. He's going to get the dogs and all of that stuff. Still with his clothes in. I believe you. And we just have to, obviously, just make sure everything is kind of organized. And I know everyone's mind is just going a million miles a minute. Could we get you to uh, Mom's house? Where's Mom at? The farm? Or? Yeah, she's in Cottage Grove. Okay. Off of Vilas. Could we, could we take you there, and then you can get a hold of Mitch and do what you need to do? And I, I promise, I mean, if it's 3 o'clock and it finishes, I'll hopefully be in bed sleeping. But tomorrow morning we would get you your phone right away. But if it finishes, like, when I'm still here tonight, I'd run it to you. What time do you get off? I don't know. We have some things to do. I mean, I'm guessing it's still going to be a while. It's going to be a long time. I'd rather just get it right away, even if you just leave it in my mailbox. At your mom's house? At the farm? I want to go to the farm. I'd rather go to the house in the city. Okay, so you want to go... yourself? My brother's going to be there and my dog. Oh, your mom's house. My mom's house, yeah. Okay. Not the apartment. Okay. Your brother's at the farm. Is he? I just don't want to go to the farm. Okay. Could we take you to your, your mom's house then where your brother is? I don't know if he's still at the farm, so I know he was... He works why? Okay. Do you have a key to get there? Give her a ride? Sure. You and I, yeah? Sure. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Can I, can I get Mitch's number? I don't have it memorized. Um, I, I don't know it, okay. to be honest with you. I'm tracking it down. I, yeah, I can get it for you. Okay. Can I leave my number for Chandler? I don't know if he remembers anyone's numbers by heart. How's that work down there? We can try. I don't know, like, what he's... So we have different... Um, areas, so I don't know where he is in the booking process. I don't know if he's on suicide watch. I don't know. I don't know any of that. We just have different parameters. So if he's cool, then we can give him your number. Okay. Yeah, I can get a piece of paper and then you can write it down and. Sure. This is hard on you. Super hard. I don't think he did it. I just want to talk to him.
Okay. All set? Yeah. Also, if you have you call your mom to get in the car. Huh? Could I have you call your mom to get in the car? Here, here you can talk to her. Mom. You knew she knew my number. Well, interview is ready. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to the house in the city. Do you want like a phone where you can only call 911 with? Sure. You got everything? Um, they gave me a phone I can use for a while, a flip phone. Well, yeah, we'll definitely get you a phone.